Alrighty, what do we have today? This looks interesting. So off the bat, I see a lot of little minor synergies, particularly with these blue cards. Weaver, you can play it for free if you discard it, which you can do with In, and I think that's actually the only Weaver synergy here. Uh, but there's also Trail, which has the same play it for free when you discard it synergy, but also if you gain it, it's like Weaver gains the Trail, you can play it for free and draw an extra card. Uh, workshop gaining a trail, remodel state to trail. A lot of things can trigger the on gain effect. Uh, trashing it, you can remodel a trail in something nice and also play it and get it back. You could forge a trail into a trail and play both trails or forge two trails into a province. Uh, and then all those gain and trash synergies also apply to nomads. You could gain a nomads off Weaver, forge two nomads in the province. You're getting like four money per nomads, even if you never play them. That's all nifty. So all this stuff seems relevant. And then probably the core of the deck is just Council Room and Inn for actions and draw. Inn on its own is not the best village, but if you're discarding a trail, that's like a double village effect. In discarding two trails, getting like a triple village effect. So Inn in this game looks much better than the average case. There's also Magnate for draw. I think that's just worse. Uh, like if you already have some Council Rooms, I think you could justify adding a Magnate maybe. Because uh, once you play one or two Council Rooms, probably Magnate's drawing four or more. Uh, but it's worth it kicking off. Um, you might end up forging your coppers anyway, making the magnate kind of irrelevant. Anyways, how to open. First instinct is remodel silver. Hitting five seems important, but not like important enough to just open double silver, I don't think. Or nomad silver, I guess would be kind of the double silver equivalent. Oh yeah, 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 def definitely uh, remodel silver. Um, because the, the big trade-off that you usually have opening remodel is it's not at all good at hitting five. Um, but that is much less true here than usual. For example, from a hand of like remodel, copper, copper, silver, estate, you could turn an estate into a trail and then draw an extra card. And then if you draw a copper, you hit five. Or you could gain a nomads, and that's just two money immediately. So like remodel, three copper as estate, hits five if you turn the estate into a nomads. So remodel is actually just kind of doing everything here. Trash an estate, gain something nice, still hit five. See, remodel is great at hitting five. Um, probably council room first, and then if I'm, I'm not super likely. To, I, I'm actually I'm not terribly unlikely, but I'm not like guaranteed or anything to hit five. If I hit five next turn, I can shuffle both of those in with an in, using the on gain effect. All right, we didn't get the ideal draw, which would have been bottom decking in a state. If I bottom deck a state, I hit five. Um, top two are. Rude. I may have to bottom up two estates. In any case, I didn't hit five. Um, my top two are the silver and the estate. Um, yeah, I guess I hit five if I bottom deck estate copper is the, the, the minimum. I bottom deck the estate, but I also missed the silver. That's why we're not at five here. Um, I guess I don't really need those on the top of my deck. Let's just draw one of them. Let me hit five to get the estate off the top as well. Okay, well, uh, this hand is fine. I think I'm going to gain a count. I could get an in now, but I think what I'm going to do is gain a council room. This council room, yeah, surely gets me to five. And I can buy the in, shuffle the in in with the council room. Um, do I want to free Nomads here? Nomads is effectively two money, because you get two back when you buy it. But it's effectively two money if you have an extra buy, which I do. Um, I'm going to say probably yes, right? I have a bunch of trails, and even if I only have the one village, in discarding the trails is essentially more than one village effect. So I think I can probably support that. Bottom card is trail, I believe. Yeah. Not totally sure I should discard the estate. Um, it's a good target for the remodel, but hopefully I draw the other estate or the nomads. Or I draw both of them, but not the remodel. There we go. All worked out in the end. Um, huh. Those bottom four are all junk, right? It's like three coppers. It's something I don't want. 
Oh, it's a second counter. It's not all junk. I have two counter rooms already. I was about to say I need to remodel nomads into a council room and buy in to shuffle in council room in. But that's actually not true. If I've got a council room down there, all I need to do is buy an in, which means I can probably afford to just trash this estate into something. Okay. But Weaver in. <laughs> now I've got Forge on the brain. Two council rooms should be enough, I think, to draw my deck. Maybe I add a third one. And then Forge all the coppers away. And the deck should be humming. <laughs> Scan a trail. Hmm. My second council room appears to be hiding somewhere. Well, I guess it's just going to stay on the top. Not a terrible place for it. Uh, well, so now I want to buy another inn to shuffle that in. Can I get an inn and a forge? I can if I kill the silver. Can I get it? Both of those without killing the silver. If I trash a state into nomads, I have seven, nine, eleven money, which is one too short. All right, goodbye, silver. Thank you. The bot looks like it's mostly doing the right stuff. It's got inns and council rooms and remodels. Uh, I don't know what the cauldron. Yeah, I don't believe in cauldron here. I think Ford just eats the curses. You, like you could get cauldron earlier than Forge, but if you're getting it that early, it's trading off with the inns and council rooms. If you're getting it at this point, the curses just don't really matter. I don't believe in. The, also, the how does bot? Did you buy gold? We'll never know because the log doesn't work. Um, Suspicious of how this gold got into the bot's deck. But the other parts of the bot's play look good. There, there are reasonable ways you could get a gold. I don't think you should have a gold this early. But like late in the game, a gold is an okay target for a remodel. So you could like remodel, trail into gold, remodel gold in the province. At some state of this game, I think it would be acceptable to gain a gold. Uh... Can I gain and play a second forge? I've only played one. No, I've played both my counts rooms. Darn it. I was about to say I've only played one counts room. But they're stacked together. Um, I would love to gain silvers off of Weaver, forge Nomad Silver into Forge, draw the second forge. That's probably too optimistic, right? The bottom cards are Forge and a mystery card. Do I have four trails? I don't know. I guess it's a trail. Let's just draw and maybe we'll learn where it is. Yep. <laughs> we do the forge. I don't know what the bottom card is. Um, just gain two silvers, I think. I don't know that it's realistic to, to dream of gaining, playing a second forge this turn. It was a trail, but I'm going to try. Which probably means counter room here. Okay, well, I think this means it's not possible anymore. If I drew the council room, I could have forged Nomad, Silver, bunch of junk into a forge, played the council room, and drawn it. I guess it does still work if I draw it off the estate, right? Or sorry, draw it off the trail, I think. we go. Uh, so this will gain me a five. Probably want to buy another five. Oh, I can leave three coppers. Council room. In. 
But it feels really nice top decking a draw card in a village for purposes of avoiding duds. Now I got all the draw, I got all the actions. How do I scale up quickly? Probably weavers. Weavers seem really good at this point. In can activate them, they can gain more weavers, which gain weavers, which gain weavers, which gain nomads, and then forge province. Things happen. Game ends. <laughs> The bot is slowing down, which I think is a sign that it thinks it's behind. I could be wrong about that. That is my impression based on prior games. Okay, um, how do I do this efficiently? If I play the council rooms, I have like nothing left in the discard, and then I'm kind of wasting draw off of the ends, but maybe that's fine. Um, I have too much draw now. <laughs> um, we'll make it work. Can of Weaver. Um, now could be a reasonable time for a gold. Oh, the bot doesn't have a forge. No, I, I was going to consider cauldron, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to gain too many actions for a cauldron to trigger. Um, so yeah, probably just gold then. I've got more drawn actions I know what to do with, so payload it is. I may actually, maybe it's just another weaver. Yeah, why am I getting a gold? Um... <laughs> So much payload. <laughs> Trash this stuff. And I don't know, nomads now. Gain two silvers. Draw it. Um, hmm. I rethink that. I was gonna. Gain two silvers, forge nomads into trail, draw one, play council room. Playing council room and drawing them a card just to draw one silver, I don't know if that's worth it. So maybe this is gain a nomads, forge nomads into trail, draw the nomads and play it. And then I don't top deck a silver and I don't play a council room unnecessarily. I think that's a better line. It makes an equivalent amount of money. 12, free nomads I suppose. Counts room in, shuffle them in. Most thematic card in Dominion. In, it puts the cards in your deck. What a great name. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bot has got to the end of its deck. I don't think its deck does much though. Yeah, the the bot doesn't have a forge. The bot doesn't really have gainers. So I mean, with just a bunch of treasure that caps out a double province, which is not terribly frightening. Probably these first two can just be trails to make sure. I mean, I don't know how I dud with three ends and three counts rooms on top, um, but. In the interest of playing with an excess of caution. Do, 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 do. Let the pile of believers just goes. Do, 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 do. I don't know if Nomads is most efficient. Maybe Remodel is better here. Not totally confident about that. 
Um, don't think it's going to matter all too much, if we're being honest. Okay. Forge into province. Forge into province. Oh yeah, I can't quite play all these, can I? I guess the most efficient way is going to be gain an in. Shuffle it in. <laughs> I can only play one of these trails because it's going to trigger a shuffle, but that's sufficient. Yeah, I, I imagine more victory points could have been gained here, but uh, this was plenty. Yeah, uh, this turned out to be a fairly strong kingdom. Uh, the bot had the right initial idea. I think remodel is good, councilman and are good, but you gotta dream bigger than one gold and one cauldron. That is not payload for a deck. Um, lots of blue stuff. And, and I think you, once you get to the point where you're buying a councilman in, in every turn, you're just never dudding and then your deck is uh, good to go. Something along these lines I think is, is probably correct. <laughs> 